Hello everyone, I'm Momita and today you are going to learn about what is divine light, divine love and divine power and how you can find out if one of these are is balanced in you and how you can balance this. So I'm going to channel Archangel Michael who's going to talk about on this topic at length. So this is the trailer of the full transmission. The full transmission contains the complete monologue from Archangel Michael where he goes into much more depth and detail what these three things mean. He also includes a permission slip which is a technique by which you can find out which one of these themes is not balanced in you and how you can balance it. The full transmission also contains the questions that I received from you on my YouTube channel or from my Facebook community. The link is given in the description. I also wanted to announce that I'm giving a 10% discount on my vocal channeling classes. So if you want to learn how to channel verbally like me, you can check out the link in the description and also check out the discount code in the description. Divine light is an important aspect because the more divine light you have, the closer you will be to source. In fact, you engaging in listening to these forms of channelings, whether it is from this channel or any other channel or any kind of spiritual reading or listening that you do, the sole intention is to increase the divine light because most people will listen to spiritual teachings and misinterpret them into some version of their own because they lack the divine light and this is how misinformation spreads and this is a problem this is the reason why in ancient times your spiritual teachers would be very secretive about spiritual teachings because of this reason. A majority of the reason why conflict happens between humans is because this aspect is missing. You do not understand other people's perspective. You are only stuck in your own. And that is why they don't feel understood. You don't feel understood. And hence, conflict happens. There are many other challenges that you can face if the divine light aspect is not lit, like a lack of creativity, a lack of imagination. And this is exactly a vicious cycle that has plagued your society because a lot of people who are in a survival mode trying to make their ends meet are so focused on the materialism because of their financial situation that they cannot think of other ways to make money in a way that is joyful to them. Even if they do not have any societal status or hierarchy, you will see certain people are respected and people listen to such people very easily. Like they don't do or say anything and yet they command respect. They can influence others that is a manifestation of divine power divine power is more rooted in physical action and the physical body energy levels and knowing what is right and wrong and taking action accordingly that is why we as Michael, as collective, we represent the divine power and people turn to us for protection and saving. And we are known as the savior because we have the power to do so. We have the power to act, to protect, to save, to do whatever it needs. But it's all about simply taking action. So what happens when you are lacking in divine power aspect. Now for the question, Sashwati asks, how can we generate a continuous supply of money in this reality with ease and joy? Instead of framing the question about continuous supply of money, the more important question to ask yourself is, what does money bring you that you cannot do without it? 
whenever people are looking for money, it is much deeper than that. People don't seek money for the sake of money. Money brings them. It is the means to get something. For some people, money is love. For some people, money is freedom. So what about money is important to you? What does it allow you to do? And what would you do if you had ample supply of money all the time and you never had to worry about it? Now, remember, there exists this version of you in the future, which is already in that state where it doesn't have to worry about money. So when you ask this question to yourself that what would I do if I never had to worry about money? Then all the things that you could do from a place of joy and excitement will start appearing in front of you because that is what that parallel version of you in another timeline is already doing. So basically you're downloading that information and accessing it 